Okay, so our plan for today kind of changed up a little bit. We are going to jump into a project. Josh and I need to head to Menards, that's our like home improvement store, and get some wood. The back porch has been my nemesis since we moved into this house and we kind of waited because we had different plans and of course everything takes longer and costs more so things get delayed but today we're going to work on just putting the back porch together josh is doing it for me william is helping he's shoving some food in for lunch real quick um so we need to get some products uh get some tools and different things together and just kind of clean up the back porch i'll explain what we're doing when we get out there enter our house from the back of our house not from the front the front faces the road you walk into this this was added on after the fact obviously right I think so. so we don't know the house is over 100 years old so there's lots of quirks but this back porch you can see where all the trouble is here you know even though there are these trouble areas in the house they really do make this house functional for us um, because without them like without the basement without this room we would really be in trouble when it comes to storage and different things like that. So this back porch is, is not temperature controlled. There is a um, sleeping porch on top of it. It is an old sleeping yeah. porch. It goes, you know, we have a door in our bedroom, Josh and my bedroom, we have a back porch, a sleeping porch oh, from back in the day. And that is what is on top of this. Now, think about it. However many years that porch has been there, it's screened in, so all the weather, all of the snow just damaged like water and stuff goes into that sleeping porch and then comes here <laughs> and it's not very practical when it comes to longevity of the house honestly all of this probably needs to be completely torn down and rebuilt but we're not ready to do that right now what we're doing is a temporary fix but something i'm grateful for because i want it to not be as ugly <laughs> as it is because of the damage and we're just gonna clean it up put some new wood on the ceiling to clean it up paint out here elise is helping get all of just like the hardware off the windows and stuff so it's really just we're gonna put a band-aid on this um make it usable cleanable we put all of our shoes back here our coats back here so what'd you buy for the ceiling hun uh it's just a seven and a quarter inch car siding like the tongue groove siding that you put up so we're just gonna put that up there and then you're gonna paint everything black it's technically he keeps making fun of me. It's not black. Kind of. Black paint. It's not black. It's forest green. You just can't tell. This is black licorice, right? <laughs> no, no, no. And it's bad our, lighting. This is our black. <laughs> this is our black. <laughs> it's yeah. called Benjamin Moore Forest. I want to the reason. Black Forest. So it's got black in the title, but it also has forest green in the title. So we're going to get this done and get it presentable. Here we go. Here. You grew up doing projects with your dad. Yes, we grew up building houses from the ground up. So I have a base now. You have just enough knowledge <laughs> to make it you dangerous, but not just enough to be in trouble, right? Eh? Okay, the ceiling is done. I don't wear hats, but I'm wearing a hat because every time we use the nail gun, stuff falls from the ceiling in my eyes. So, the hat day. Looks good, and we're moving on to some trim. I don't know if we're gonna get to painting today or finish it up tomorrow, we'll see. I'm trying to talk Josh into stopping a project before it's 100% completed, not 100%, but at least mostly, um, is almost impossible. Like, okay, just for reference, it's February 9th and it is 51 degrees and sunny. So we had already committed that we were gonna go for a walk with the family today. So talking Josh into stopping work early is, is tough. So, but I talked him into it. I think we're gonna go for a hike and go out to dinner and just have some family time. Um, but for an update, the big girls told me that they would paint if he did the ceiling and did all this they want to come out here and paint and there's arguments about whether the 
paint is black or dark green. The name of it is Benjamin Moore Black Forest Green. So I think in some lights it's gonna look black, in some lights it's gonna look green, and I know that I'm gonna love it. So it's gonna be way better than what it is out here, this ugly old paneling. So we're just gonna cover it up with a little bit of paint. But today, Josh and William, um, and I helped a little bit, got the tongue and groove ceiling all done, all completed here, and then got some holes stuffed with some of that stuff that you stuff it with, and some trim boards, and Josh got some caulking done. So all the shoes, all this has to get out of here. Um, we have eight people in our house, and it's a farmhouse, remember, eight people, all the shoes, this is what it looks like. Yes, that's a lot of shoes. That's the first comment we get when people come in here. But I mean, like do the math. You got three pairs of shoes times eight people. It adds up really quick. We're gonna be done for today. Go hike, go to dinner. And then tomorrow we are gonna take every single thing out of here that is in here and we're going to paint and hopefully get that completed tomorrow. Let's go hiking. <laughs> Good morning. We are on day two of our front porch project. And again, expectations are, we're keeping them low. The point of this project is not to make this room perfect. It's just to make it better. <laughs> so yeah, we're out here. I've got my helpers. Marie is gonna be um, doing a lot of the painting. Marie and Elise are my painters. I already showed you yesterday the ceiling got done and Josh did some trimming and caulking and that's all dry. We moved out all the shoes outside because <laughs> it's a nice day. Um, and right now I'm vacuuming. We're gonna get it kind of ready for painting. And again, there's like this whole, um, I'm being teased extensively for picking out black paint, but it's really dark green. So we'll see how it shows up in the, on the camera here. So anyway, we're gonna get going, try to get this all painted, uh, done today. At least the, the green maybe. I don't know about the, the trim, the pure white trim, we'll see. Um, or see how much we get done. Turn on some music and just have a fun day. I think we pretty much almost got a first coat on all of the walls. I mean, we need to do the ceiling. Not, not black for the record, it's very green. Are you crabby? No, I feel like dad's crabby shirt. Because dad's coming. Technically it was dad's and it was mine's. Now it, mine's mine and now it's yours. How do you like the green paint, babe? It's great for the, uh, black paint. You mean beautiful green paint? No, there's no green It's so it. cute. It's We've added some little lights. <laughs> it's the best green, green paint that there could be. Oh, Turn the lights off. It's I... even darker. No. <laughs> let me, yeah, let me talk you through the situation here. Okay. So in the, of course, it's going to look black on camera. <laughs> Like there, that kind of looks green. Okay. <laughs> it does look green in the daylight. It's beautiful, rich, so dark green. It's like the color of my shirt. It looks, it is the color of my shirt. At night, it totally looks black, but um, I love it. It looks great getting cleaned up, getting the trim painted up, cleaning it up. Marie's painting the, the beautiful green around the trim over there. Jules is doing the white trim, which Josh just cocked. 
fun to have little projects, uh, you know, start and finish pretty quickly. We need to get all the shoes back in here, which are gonna cover a multitude of sins in here. Um, any errors, because this this is our shoe room. It gets um, nice and full of shoes very quickly. So I'm loving how it's turning out. Let me know if you like the color. I love it again, it's Benjamin Moore um, Black Forest Green. It's coming together nicely, and I can't wait till it's all done and back to normal, because we've been storing all of our shoes, our huge amount of shoes outside in the cold weather underneath tarps. <laughs> so we need to get it back in here today. All right, y'all, let's head out to the back porch. I keep calling <laughs> it the front porch, but it's the back porch where we come out. Josh, you get, you get to be in this one because you did a lot of the work, but I love it so much. We kept adding different things. Josh is like, hey, let me add, Functional you know, space, cute right? little baskets. <laughs> and hey, let me add a whole coat rack that goes the whole distance of the room. And I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do it. So I kept on thinking the room was done and then, you know, it wasn't done. So anyway, are you happy with it? I am. It okay. works. I like functionality. And actually, I love this um, shelf here that Josh decided to add on last minute. We put like when Marie collects eggs, she puts them up there. We've got coats and umbrellas. Hats and gloves. And then, okay, I'm going to be weird, but just show you the pretty twinkle lights here up against the green. It looks so pretty. They're not, they're bulb lights, I, you know, strand lights. It's really pretty. So we've been using, and they're LED, so they don't take up a lot of yeah. power, but um, we've been leaving these on instead of using the bright light back here because it works. And I mean, you guys, anyone with large families, you can relate at this hot shoe mess behind me. There's no shame. There's eight of us, and if each of us have- Work boots, <laughs> farm boots. There's at least shoes. <laughs> rain. There's at least monk boots for sure for everybody. It's like we five, love our high speed. Five seabood. pairs of shoes times eight. It's That's just so shoes. many shoes. Like I can't avoid it. There's so many, but. That's okay, it's real life. I love it, I wouldn't trade it. So anyway, I'm super thrilled with the back porch. Looks great. Thank you, honey. You're <laughs> Thank you for coming along and seeing the process and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.